WeChat, formerly known as QQ, I know very well about its development. Without Ma Jian, the then Vice Minister of the Ministry of Security, there would be no WeChat or Ma Huading. Ma Huading's boss is Hu Jintao. Many people don't know that Hu Jintao's son-in-law, Mao Daolin, is the real boss of WeChat, behind Ma Huanting, who was Hu Haiching's husband at the time. At that time, few people knew who Ma Huading's boss was. Ma Huading's bosses were Hu Haiching and her husband Mao Daolin, and Mao Daolin's father-in-law was Hu Jintao. At that time, the Ministry of National Security of the Chinese Communist Party was looking for Minister Dong and Vice Minister Ma Jian to approve the matter. Su Yongyue wanted to help Jack Ma at the time, but in the end he and Ma Jian became the chief executors of WeChat, and Ma Jian had the real power. Without the participation of the CCP's Ministry of State Security, WeChat would not have been approved. Then there are the second and third departments of the PLA General Staff Department, which are its technical support. So, it is surprising that WeChat app can be allowed in the West and even become popular. Really, everyone knows that it is an intelligence software of the CCP. As long as you download WeChat app, or Jihu, or go on Baidu and Hong Kong's Phoenix TV app, your phone will be trash. Wherever you go in the world, the CCP will know where you are no matter if your phone is on and off. And it will report about your location automatically. In the Xishan Mountains in Beijing, the western part of the Xishan Mountains, the Phoenix Ridge, where hundreds of thousands of people are monitoring Americans' cell phones. They are able to monitor anybody's cell phones. Americans have no privacy at all.